disciples. For the purpose of brevity, let's simply say it assigns greater or lesser priority to a process. Nice values. The highest nice value is 19, which inversely gives the process the lowest nice priority. The lowest nice value is negative 20, which inversely gives the process the highest nice priority. As a mnemonic, let's think about it semantically. The nicer you are, the lower a priority you will place on your processes so as to make your CPU cycles available for your friends and coworkers. So the highest nice value, 19, the nicest thing to do is give your processes the lowest priority. On the other hand, the meaner you are, the higher the priority you will place on your processes, leaving less CPU cycles for your friends. That's not nice. So the lowest nice value, negative 20, the meanest thing to do is give your processes the highest priority. Don't be a system hog. Share. There are two primary methods of using nice. If you use nice and the process, it will simply start the process with 10 over the default nice value. However, if you use the dash n option, you can specify a specific nice value. We've looked at the process command, the kill command, and the foreground and background commands and jobs commands for controlling processes. But what about setting the priority? For this, we can use the nice and the re-nice commands. So let's briefly take a look at those. And the way nice works is, um, the higher the number in positive values, the lower the priority. And the lower the, the number in terms of negative values, the higher the priority. And so if you think about it, um, if you're going to be nicer to other people on the system, you'll run your processes with less CPU cycles. And you're being nice, so you're going to give them more CPU cycles. Hence, that's kind of why you know, the nicer you are, so to speak, the lower the priority you're giving a process. And on the other hand, if you're going to run something in the system that eats up a lot of CPU cycles and gets a lot of processing time and power, then you're not being nice. You're being less nice. And so it goes down into the negative values. Maybe that will help you remember sort of as a mnemonic device. But let's just launch a few processes. So one of the first things we'll do if I launch um, gedit, I'm going to do Alt F2. I'm just going to launch gedit. Right? So it'll bring up um, the genome text editor, and if I were to, I could do ps um, x dash l, and let me grep for gedit. All right, and so this is the default priority here. When I launch any process, it's usually 80, and I've not modified the niceness either towards the positive or negative end of the spectrum, so it's just zero. It's a default value for gedit. And there's the PED, the process ID, and I can kill it. So kill, um, what is that, 4043. So I'll go ahead and kill it. And the same thing, if I were to launch the PS command, and let me specify the dash L for a, a long listing option, if I did that, notice that the default priority is 80, under which the process command is running. And I haven't niced it any. So I haven't modified any values there. All right, so now let's look at gedit. I'm going to do Alt F2. And this time I'm going to nice gedit. I want to modify the default priority of it. And I'm just going to do nice and um, dash n. And I'm going to use the maximum level of niceness, 19, which will therefore give, you know, give the G, this text editor the least priority on the system and make CP cycles available for others. And if I were to do that, let's list it. And I'll just hit the 